Let's talk about Starfield and Redfall being delayed until the first half of 2023. Let's get to the video. Hello there. My name is Lavon Kaysen. Back at it again with another video. And yes, today was the day that Starfield and Redfall got delayed into the first half of 2023. Now, when I first saw this, and I was thinking to myself, what does Xbox have for 2022? And that is a legitimate question. Like, what does Xbox have? I mean, I guess they have Deathloop. I guess they have Score, and I guess they have Forza Motorsport, I guess. That's before the Xbox Showcase happens. You know, the Xbox Showcase happens a month from now. So there could be surprises and other stuff being announced, you know, maybe for this year. But as of right now, there isn't really much to play for Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S for the second half of 2022. There just isn't much. I do see that for 2023, it could be Xbox's year. Starfield and Redfall are coming in 2023. Also with the showcase, that means that there could be other announcements, meaning other releases that could be in 2023. But again, it's a maybe. It's a maybe that 2023 could be Xbox's year. Let's be real about this. Overall, as of right now, PlayStation has had the best um, early of the 2020s when it comes to consoles and games. No more, nothing less. I mean, they start out with Spider-Man Miles Morales. They got Horizon Forbidden West. I mean, they're getting the new God of War. I mean, they got Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. I mean, Sony has been pumping out games for the past two years for the PlayStation 5. And yet yeah, Xbox, you know, it's been getting games here and there. Some reviewed better than others, but... Xbox has a lot lot of work to do. I, I, I'll just say that, like, they got some work that they need to do. But hey, you wanna know what's a good thing? Is that if you own both consoles, you're gonna have games to play regardless. Meaning, like, if Xbox doesn't have games to play on the Series X, you know, or Series S if you own that, just go on the PlayStation 5, because at least you know at that moment, Sony will be pumping out quality games nothing more nothing less maybe it might be a dry year for sony but then just go on the xbox series srx and just play that because by that point you're going to know that xbox be pumping out bangers so it does suck that redfall and starfield got delayed until the first half of 2023 it definitely does freaking suck. Maybe this could be a blessing in disguise because in 2023, you know, Xbox will have something to release in the first half of 2023. Cause normally when it comes to Xbox big games, they normally release in the second half of that year. Cause normally Sony releases games in the first half of that year. You know, with this year, you know, they got Sifu, they got Horizon, they got Ghostwire Tokyo. Sony normally has releases for the first half of the year. Yeah, it just sucks that um, Xbox just doesn't have anything pretty much as of right now or not a whole lot at this point until that uh, Xbox showcase happens on um, June 12th. But what do you guys think of Starfield and Redfall being delayed until the first half of 2023? Let me know in the comment section below the video. Thank you guys for watching and peace. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, 
hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications, so that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos, future live on case and gaming videos, future live on case and live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.